Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Camera View. The Blender default scene contains a camera object. This camera object is used as the view through which Blender renders your Blender scene or animation. To demonstrate the Blender camera view, I've opened a model of a castle used in this learning unit's PDF tutorial section. I will press numpad 0 to enter camera view. Note that the camera view contains a dotted box. This represents the camera's field of view. All objects inside the dotted box will be rendered. The dotted box is really a result of the rendering resolution. If I select the Render Context button in the Properties Editor, we see that the default render resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's HDTV standard, size to 25%. This is a letterbox type resolution. If we change the resolution, the dotted box size will also change. Here I will change the resolution to 640 by 480 pixels, which is VGA standard resolution. Note that the dotted box is no longer a letter type box. I'll switch back to HDTV standard using this drop down preset. I'll press Ctrl-Alt-Q and go into Quad View. I will also go to Wireframe Display Mode. Quad View displays four views, Top, Camera, Front, and Right Side. I will also select the default camera object in the Top Viewport. With my mouse in the Top Viewport, I will press the G key or Grab and move the camera object a bit. Note how this affects the camera view. With my mouse in the front viewport, and the camera object still selected, I'll press the R key, Rotate, and rotate the camera around the Y-axis a bit. Note how this affects the camera view. Rotating and moving the camera in the top, front, and right viewports is one method for positioning the camera so that the model falls within the dotted box. I'll press F12 and render the scene. Another way to position the camera is to create a likely view with one of your viewports. I will control alt q back into a single viewport. I'll make sure I'm in perspective view by pressing numpad 5, which is perspective, and then position the viewport until I get a view that I like. Now it's a good idea to do this while in perspective since the camera by default will render a perspective view. Then I'll press the View button on the 3D Editor Viewport header and select Align View, Align Active Camera to View. The keyboard shortcut for this is Control alt numpad 0 I'll press F12 and render the scene. There are a number of camera controls available in Blender. These controls are located in the Properties Editor and accessed by pressing the Object Data Context button. Note that the Object Data Context button icon looks like a movie camera when the camera is selected. However, if a light is selected, like this, the Object Data Context button looks like a light. If an object is selected, the Object Data Context button looks like three vertices with connecting edges. I will reselect the camera object and select the Object Data Context button. With the camera selected and the Object Data Context button selected, there are a number of camera controls. By default, the camera view is a perspective view. That is, parallel lines of an object will angle off to a common vanishing point. You could change this by pressing the orthographic button and get a camera view where parallel lines remain parallel. Now I would have to reposition my view for orthographic view, or I could change the orthographic scale. I'll go back to perspective. Another adjustment that you can make is the camera lens angle. By default, this is set to 35mm, which is a standard camera lens, similar to normal vision. If I increase the camera lens angle, it has the effect of zooming in. If I decrease the camera lens angle, it has the effect of zooming out. 
I'm going to skip the panorama button as it's part of another video tutorial. Another way to control the camera view is to adjust the shift or offset controls along the camera view's X and Y axis. Keep your eye on the camera viewport. By adjusting the X shift, I can move the camera view left and right. By adjusting the Y shift, I can move the camera view up or down. Note that I am not actually moving the camera, just shifting the camera's field of view. The next area of camera control is called clipping. And to demonstrate clipping, we need to first go to Display Panel, just below the Lens Panel, and check mark Display Limits. This displays the extent of the camera's view. I'll also uh, go to Quad View, Control Alt Q. I can adjust the start clipping, which is the distance in Blender units from the camera object to when the camera will start to see objects. It is now set at 0.1. Notice in the camera view what happens as I increase the start camera clipping. I can also adjust the end clipping, which is the distance in Blender units from the camera object when the camera stops seeing objects. It is now set at 150. As I lower this number, the camera extent view is reduced. Notice in the camera view what happens as the end clipping point enters the building model. Now by default, the Blender sets this end clipping to 100. If your model is very large, like this model, you may have to change the end clipping of your camera object to render your entire model. You may also have to adjust the clipping if you import models from other applications. On the other hand, you might consider purposely increasing the clipping start or decreasing the clipping end to achieve a particular effect. Blender's camera clipping, like many camera controls, is animatable. 